how to install the furniture mod, specifically Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod in 1.19.1. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. However, what is this mod? Well, as you can see, it adds in some pretty awesome furniture to Minecraft, including tables and benches and dining room tables and desks and couches, and even things like trampolines are added in using the furniture mod. One of the coolest mods, in my opinion, for Minecraft 1.19.1. Let's go ahead and get it installed in this video. First things first, we need to download Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod, and you can find a link, the second link in the description down below, that will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide for getting Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. Once you're here, click on the yellow download button to be taken to the official download page for the Furniture Mod. Once you're here, come to the right-hand side, scroll down, and you'll see the Minecraft 1.19 section. Click on the orange download button under that, and the download will begin. Well, that's downloading. How to miss from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love to Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. And at Apex, you have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support should you have any issues. Last but not least, Apex supports plugins, mods, and mod packs, with over 200 mod packs having one-click installation. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour Minecraft server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod downloaded. As you can see, it is now finished downloading. You may need to keep this in the bottom left or save it in the server screen on Google Chrome. It's 100% safe to do so. CFM stands for Crayfish Furniture Mod, by the way, in the title of the mod that you downloaded. Nevertheless, Forge is next up on our list, and it is required in order to install Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. Think of Forge as basically the bridge between the mod and Minecraft, allowing those to work together. Nevertheless, though, here we are. We can scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button to get Forge downloaded. By the way, the link to this is in the description down below. This is our text guide for Forge. If you have any issues, this is where you can get help. Nevertheless, click the green Download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official website. Once you're here, you can see MC 1.19 is selected, and that's not the right version. We need MC 1.19.1. Select that on the left-hand side, and as you can see, it's now correct. Minecraft 1.19.1. Come under the Download Latest section here and click Installer, and it will take us off to Add Focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page. Just wait about 10, 15 seconds, and then in the top right, a red skip button will appear. As you can see, there is the red skip button in the top right. Click on that red skip button and automatically in the bottom left of Google Chrome, Forge will start downloading. You may need to keep or save this file in the bottom left of Chrome. It's 100% safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title. Speaking of saving, you may also need to save it in the server screen on Firefox. That's safe to do as well as long as Forge is in the title. We can now minimize our browser and let's move these mods, Crayfish Furniture Mod specifically, and Forge to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon. It's top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open that up, and in here you have Forge and Crayfish's Furniture Mod. Drag and drop this to your desktop. Nevertheless, once we're here, we want to go ahead and start off installing Forge. To do that, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java! I don't have Java! Well, if you don't have Java, or if your icons don't look like mine, you can fix both by getting Java 17. Java 17 is required in order to install Minecraft mods like Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. So go through the tutorial, get Java 17, get it set up, and then once you've got Java 17, by the way, it's a super in-depth guide, you can then run the jar fix. Jar fix will link all the jar files on your computer back to Java, fixing those icons that we were talking about while also making everything open in Java easier. Now let's minimize our browser. We can right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. Now Forge is going to open up and to install Forge, all you've got to do here is click the Install Client button and click OK. Now Forge is going to install. The only reason you would have issues at this point is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. If that's the case, close out of those and then reinstall Forge. Or if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.1 before. If that's the case, go open it, come back, and this will work. Nevertheless, successful install Client Profile Forge. Click OK. Close out of the installer. We can delete Forge from our desktop. Let's get Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod installed. To do this, go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then from here, you should have a Forge profile. As you can see, we have Forge right here. This Forge installation, it's automatically selected for us. You can click play and click play again if it's selected for you. But if it's not, go ahead and click on installations. Now, make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we unchecked modded. Installation Forge goes away. Check modded, there it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or you don't have the 1.19.1, the 1.19.1 version of Forge, click new installation. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Forge, right like so. From there, we wanna move on to the release drop-down box, the version drop-down box here. Click on that, and we wanna select release 1.19.1 
dash forge right here it is once you've got that selected you can go ahead and create i'm going to change the resolution so we can see but that's it and then click create in the bottom right and we have this new forge profile that most importantly has 1.19.1 dash forge under it hover over this click play and click play again the hard part of getting mr cravis's furniture mod is finished the hardest part is getting forge open once minecraft is open with forge it's super easy to install the mod all you need to do is from the minecraft main menu click on mods and then open mods folder in the bottom left Again, that was from the main menu. Click Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. This will open the Mods folder right like so, where you want to take Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod, or the CFM file that we downloaded, and drag and drop this to our Mods folder. When we do that, and come back to Minecraft, it's not here. And it's not going to be here until you click Done and quit the game. You then want to open up the Minecraft launcher again, and this time, your Forge profile should be automatically selected. If it's not, you can simply click this arrow and select it from the list. Then you want to go ahead and click play, click play again, and now when we launch into the Minecraft main menu, we will see that Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod not only shows up in the Mods tab, but if we go in game, we'll be able to place some awesome furniture. So here we are in game. If we click mods, we can see Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod is there. We can also jump into single player where I do have a Crayfish's Furniture Mod world kind of set up to be able to test this mod in videos. Now, one thing I will say is 118 to 119 did break some furniture, so keep that in mind. I'm going to have to redo this world here after this video, but as you can see here, we do have some dining room tables set up. We also have our couch right here, and we have our desk over here. It seems like the desk actually was fixed. I believe this was broken previously. We've also got a kitchen over here. Look at that. Look how awesome that kitchen looks. I love it. I love this mod so much. It's one of my favorites. And uh, fences, uh, fences did break. And they seem to still be broken in this beta. That's perfectly okay. I know that Mr. Crayfish is working on it, so no big deal there. But uh, something to keep in mind as well. Nevertheless, that's how you can get Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. You can see the uh, the bench here as well as the trampoline is working. Boom. And yeah, that's Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. It really does mean a lot if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe as this is what we do. This is what we do here. We make awesome tutorials on Minecraft, on gaming, on tech, all of that stuff. And we appreciate when you support that. So nevertheless, I'm going to sit here take a look at the scenery, and I will see you in the next video. By the way, some of the awesome furniture that this mod adds in, I should mention, sorry about that, is uh, you've got spatulas, because why not? You've also got coffee tables here, you've got normal chairs, you've got tables, which, by the way, the cool thing about the table, is done right there, but the cool thing about the table is you can actually combine these, right? And it will make, like, legs on the ends and not in the middle, which is kind of a cool feature. We've also gotten cabinets, we've gotten bedside cabinets, we've got desks here that we can use, we've got different, you know, oak cabinet chest and different sort of tabletops that you can use. We've got sofas, and sofas can be placed as standalone, right, like so, or they can be combined like we did over there into like a sectional, or you can have two separate sofas, right? Either is possible. Depends on what you want in your living room. We've also got here some blinds that you can post up, as well as all the different fences. Again, these are currently broken, it seems. Maybe we just need to grab a new fence. Let's try this. What if we grabbed a new fence here? Yes, that one is working, so we'll replace this. But nevertheless, that is how you can add in fences, right like so. Boom. That's what they're supposed to look like. And then on top of that, we've also got in some other mods, like the trampoline, as well as hedges, mailboxes, benches, tons of different ones of those, different crates that you can add in, as well as, last but not least, all the different countertops because there's a ton of different countertops sinks all the kitchen stuff as well so there you go i just want to give a little overview of the furniture at the end i know i already did the outro so we'll see you in the next one